Have you ever noticed that anytime somebody starts a video, they say, okay guys, I'm not gonna say that. I can't, I can't help it. It's come, okay guys, this video is uh, about how to make a variable speed blower run full speed, or in other words, when a variable speed blower is running too slow. I, he I hear that a lot. I hear the blower's running too slow, and then you know, I gotta walk guys through what causes it to run slow. So the first thing, this is a carrier, so you've gotta make sure your, your pins are set properly, set to the proper kilowatts, tonnage, you know, based on whether it's a heat pump or AC, the comforter efficiency. That doesn't make a huge difference. That's just, just in heat. Um, whether you have nominal, low, or high airflow, which you gotta look at the specs to know exactly what that means. Enhanced mode means that it will start up really slow to start with, which for us in a, a high humidity market, we wanna start get, getting that thing to pull out moisture as quickly as possible. Obviously in enhanced mode, it's gonna run very slow at first and then continuous fan operation, either high, medium, or low. I don't know why this is on high, because normally we wouldn't leave it on high, and normally we'd put it on medium. I think somebody was just messing with it, because it is our shop unit. What do you need in order for this thing to run in full speed? The first thing I tell people to check is, do you have your Y on the right Y? Because if you have it set on stage one Y, Y1 on a single stage piece of equipment, then it will run at nearly half speed, very low, low speed. So you want to make sure that this is set on Y slash Y2 or Y2, depending on the piece of equipment you're working on. Some will just say, why, but if you set it on Y1, then it's gonna think that it needs to run low speed. The next thing, and so you're gonna you know, make sure you get a Y call. Next thing would be to check between common and G and make sure that you have a blower call. A lot of these systems will go to a very low blower speed. If you don't have a G call, it'll still run, but it'll run at a really low blower speed. Carrier calls that super dehumidify. It's a way for the unit to give you a Y call, but no G call. It's a way for it to run at a very low blower speed. It's not generally not super practical because if you do it for very long at all, the system will probably freeze up, but that is an option. So if you have low, really low blower speed, make sure to check that you have a call on G whenever you have a call on Y. And then finally, make sure that if, you, if you're not in dehumidify mode or you don't have a dehumidification thermostat that you have a call on your DH, your dehum, your D. Uh, different manufacturers have different terminal designations, but it's your dehumidify. Most of them are going to require a call on this in order to run at full speed. If you do not have a call on this, then it will run at a slightly decreased speed. And again, all you do is you just take a voltmeter and read between your common and DH, make sure that you have 24 volts, make sure you have 24 volts between your Y or Y2 and not your Y1, unless, like I said, it's two-stage equipment, and then make sure that you have 24 volts between C and G, then check all your pin settings, and Bob's your uncle. Now, if the blower is just sort of doing this weird, like, oscillating thing, where it's just kind of like moving back and forth like that, for an extended period of time, then that's a sign generally that you have a motor module problem. Go through the entire ECM motor diagnosis at that point, but you first need to make sure if it's just running slow that all of this is doing what it's supposed to do. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.